Hey, TJ. Hey, what? Do you want to come over to my house to play Sonic Forces? <laughs> oh, only if I can play all the Avatar levels. Okay, you can play all three of them. I wanna, I wanna play, I wanna play as as my uh, my uh, character, uh, uh, Poutine the Bear. So, as you were saying that, like a fucking pop up ad popped up on my video that said like Quicken Loan urges Americans to switch to a 15 year fixed, and for some reason I thought that was something Chris added in the edit. <laughs> I was like, that's fucking weird. <laughs> Oh my. No, it sounds like something I'd think about doing. I just confused the fuck out of myself right now. Why, Why did, did you... you think about Muppets? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> points, Chris. Points. <laughs> well, is that implying, is that implying you... I don't like the movies because they confuse me? <laughs> no, it's that you had a positive thought about it. It was like, how could this be happening? <laughs> it's like, Steve was just like, I don't get it. They're, they're clearly made a felt. <laughs> But they're living things. Like I don't understand. Wait a minute. What's Are you high roading me because you don't like the Muppet movies? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Chris, are you trying to play that Rosie O'Donnell can't drive? Mostly. Good. I have a long essay about it. If you want to read it sometime. No. I'm well. Good. So. <laughs> okay. I want to share you guys. I want to share with you guys some really crazy shit that happened at the beginning of this recording. Uh, because. Real shit. Well, because Chris made the same joke as part seven. At the, for the intro, and I'm like, oh, ha, that's funny. Chris is doing the, you know, repeating a joke thing, and that's what makes a joke even funnier sometimes. And no, it isn't. And uh, and I didn't realize that I didn't delete my previous track from Audacity. So then I started <laughs> hearing my own voice, and then I was like, did Chris quickly edit and upload that part, and then put it on YouTube? <laughs> Yes, Steven. I cannot edit out three minutes of a saved file image, but I could definitely do that. <laughs> without, without you sending him your audio, he somehow managed to edit it and get it online. It was the only thing that made sense in my head. <laughs> and that's why Steven hates the Muppet movies. Sorry, that wasn't that funny. Um... That was pretty funny. Spider-Man... We're talking about repeating jokes, we can talk about Chick-fil-A, dude. <laughs> We could we could talk about Spider Man Homecoming and why it was a bad movie. I'll talk. Oh, so we can't talk yeah. about Muppets. We can talk. I'll talk about Spider Man, but I don't want to talk about Muppets. No, I don't want to talk about Spider Man. Okay. Oh. Why do you why do you think so, Steve, David? I have a question because there was like a for like a week, and I think we've just given up talking about this game at this point. For some fuck it. <laughs> but there's nothing uh, to Steven, talk about. Steve, like there was like a week where every day you'd be like, I'm watching a new Marvel movie. It's fucking shit. Like, why did you feel? Why did you watch a bunch of Marvel movies in, this, in the same week? Uh, I just wanted to catch up, and they were all in Redbox. That's that's. But, but you hate superhero movies. Why do you care? Well, because like, no, there were some good ones. In fact, this whole Marvel thing kind of start kind of started off good, except for X Men because those movies are bad. Um. Well, X Men Two is good. Uh, what all the X Men? No, just most of them. <laughs> Fair, fair. I'll grant you that. I'll yeah, most of them are. I will quite say bad. I'm over them, but I'm tempted to watch them sometimes just to know what you guys are talking about half the time. So I thought maybe well, that Marvel was why Stephen was watching it. Well, <laughs> Marvel or X Men, Chris? Uh, Marvel in general, like the recent ones after Ant Man. Pretty. Oh, so oh, so so you haven't seen any of Phase Three? Uh, I'm gonna say yes, despite not knowing what that entails. I haven't seen hey. Ant Man or anything but past that. Then basically. again, all the X Men okay. movies are Fox movies, right? Yes, the, the X-Men are not canon to the Marvel Universe. Uh, for how all. long, though? Uh, well, you know, there was that rumor, which at the time this part comes up, about six years ago, there was that rumor that <laughs> Disney that Disney were going to buy Fox, um, which I, I wouldn't be surprised if Disney just wanted that just so they could get X-Men and Fantastic Four back for Marvel. But apparently, um, like they had like one talk, and then it just never spoke of again. So who knows? I mean, it, Disney it, will the, be back with more money next year. Don't worry. It could be. I mean, you know, uh, well, the, the X Men movies keep making money. So at this point, I don't, I don't see a need oh from my. Fox, uh, from Fox to do Disney's that, you know? The <laughs> Simpsons. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Disney's The Simpsons. Um, Weird. But They're yeah, gonna reboot so it with J.J. Abrams and make all the same jokes from season one. No, they're gonna reboot it with Ten Clovenberg. Chris, keep up. <laughs> so go, Stephen. Then oh, Spider-Man: Homecoming. What about it? Did you not like? Fucking the bad guy. The bad guy was so stupid. 
Are you what the fuck though? The you don't like Michael the, Kramer? The Voach is one of the only good things about that movie. What? Fuck you! Fuck you! What's okay? So what about a mistake? Vulture. Oh, bunch, bunch of alien stuff. Well, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna use it to, to be bad. And then he's a bad guy. And now he's gonna be bad with his alien stuff. And he's a bad guy with alien stuff. And then he flies around and government never knows that he's flying around. How the fuck do you not know where his secret base is? He's flying around every fucking night. How do you not know where he lives? Vulture? More like no culture. I'm just... <laughs> I think the it is it is a plot point. I mean, to to a certain extent, I I can see where you're coming from, but it it, it, it is a plot point in the movie that they keep their crime on a very low level. But he flies as, as around. In fact, here's another People thing. Always watching the skies. Here's another thing. Yeah, but, but, Vulture again, drops it, it, Spider Man into the into the river or whatever, and then an Iron Man suit comes and gets uh Spider Man. It's like. Well, you 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 knew you knew how to track Spider-Man, but you can't track the guy who's fucking flying around. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I guess in in context of of the the climates of what the the world is like in the MCU, people flying around isn't necessarily like holy shit, what is that? As it would have been pre the first Iron Man movie in that universe. So many fucking people fly around now. So I'm sure that I'm sure just just like most things, America is just completely you know desensitized to the notion of a man in a weird suit flying around and <laughs> something to be afraid of. To that end, which city did the first Avengers take place in? Was it Spider-Man yeah, City? Yeah, so New they're York. used yeah, to like aliens coming in and shit. No one's paying attention anymore. Yeah, well, I mean, of course, that, that's, that's actually a plot point. A bit. Spider Man Homecoming opens like with the aftermath of the first Avengers movie, where they're cleaning oh. up all the alien shit. Which you know, I saw. I think the biggest thing. The biggest mistake about his character, I saw this in a video, it may have been, I think, I think it was on his trailers, where they were like, because um, as it starts with Adrian Toomes, he has like a contract to clean up that shit, and then Tony Stark, people just come in and take over. On his trailers, we're just like, fucking just sue Tony Stark and be like a billionaire. Because he's coming in, you know, you, you, have the, you have this officially sanctioned contract with the New York um, government to clean up this shit. And then Tony Stark in the private sector is just like, hello, well, nope, I'm gonna get richer doing this. You could just fucking sue Tony Stark and then live off. And there. here's another thing, like after the plane crashes and then Spider-Man and, and Vulture have like the fight, it's like, where is everybody? The a pl plane crashed on the coast of like fucking New York City, and there's no, there's no police. Nobody's coming. Like you fight for like ten minutes. Where is everybody? No, I would, I would argue their fight is very quick. They, they like. After the plane crashes, their final fight is maybe two minutes. Yeah, but where's the and fucking they Coast Guard? They're on the coast! Checking off. They're, 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 they're getting high. <laughs> they're watching the Muppet movies. <laughs> <laughs> they're watching the Muppet movies going, I don't get why Steven doesn't like these. They're great. <laughs> I want to go comment on a video and ask him why. And then fucking... He didn't say in the video, but he might then tell I watched me. Guardians of the Galaxy 2 after that, and that pissed me off even more. So, so, you think you Guardians? Like good music? So, you think Guardians Two is worse than Spider-Man: Homecoming? Hmm. Uh -oh. mm. Was there anything about Spider-Man you you enjoyed? I mean, yeah, the action was great, and the CG was probably some of the best CG in a Spider-Man film I've ever seen. So, you know, it was it was really good eye candy. So, yeah, <laughs> there are parts I enjoyed. Did you like Spider-Man's character? Uh, kinda. He was kind of a little too stupid. You know, like, I get it, he's a teenager and he's going to make mistakes, but it's like, come on, he's, 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 his stupidity was literally a plot point <laughs> in the film. It was like, this, this is ridiculous. So I don't know, I kind of liked him. Here's my benchmark. Steven, how do you feel about Spider-Man 2, Sam Raimi version? Uh, I don't remember it, it's been so long ago. Okay, movie, so your opinion doesn't count, got it. Yeah, that movie's fucking amazing. Even I like that one. And I don't even know what a Spider-Man is. It's Sam. TJ's boyfriend. <laughs> so what other Marvel movies are there? Because we dedicated the whole part of Spyro 2 to TJ's Marvel opinions, <laughs> so, so we got to so dedicate what, this part for Steven. Yeah, so, okay, so Steven, what about Guardians did you dislike? Um, it totally did not recognize anything that was successful about Guardians 1. So... Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Um, I, I, I feel... Like 
Drax is almost an entirely different character. Drax, what's too. see? I'm so bad with names. Which one is Drax? Drax is, 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 is he the Planet big Man guy. No, Planet Man. He's the guy is takes ego. everything literally. Yeah, Dra Drax is the one who. Just, Blue dude. He, yeah, like. He, oh, sorry. There's a lot of blue dudes. Blue no, and no, red no, dude. No, he's he's gray. He's more gray. Is he? Uh, I, th I think he's what? more gray. So which one is Drax? In, 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 yes. So in 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 the team of the Guardians, he is the big dude. Okay. The big muscular he's... dude. That, you know, the one who, the one who um like talk, has that scene where he talks about his wife and daughter being dead. Okay. Yeah, I liked I like yeah, Drax. I mean, Drax was good. Well, see, the okay. thing is, I like he's he's entertaining. But I would argue he doesn't act. He doesn't act like he, he did in the first movie. I would like to amend my statement. He is definitely gray. Just the lighting in a lot of the trailers for two made him look kind of blue. I guess. Uh, I think in the comics he's green. But I think they they changed it for the movie to so Gamora would stand out it more. It didn't hmm. bother me that he was different because it kind of felt like character progression, which you know. See, I would argue with maybe he's starting to I, get I maybe he's starting to get used to all this. You know, like uh, sarcasm and stuff. Like maybe he's starting to finally catch on. Possibly, <laughs> I, I just I, I just felt that in so much of Guardians too, he's just there just to laugh at pe other people's jokes. Yeah, like, he doesn't have an arm. Yeah, he like, has like no Drax arc. Has not, Drax has no story. If you remove him from Guardians the story, too. it's the same story. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, TJ, how did Randy Newman feel about Drax? Sorry, how did you feel about Drax? Uh, he he thought it was alright. <laughs> <laughs> That guy was alright. I didn't like that. I didn't. I, did, I didn't like fucking Planet Man. I hated Planet Man so much. Ego. Ugh, ego is such a fucking stupid. It's like I've been. Well, that man was great. Well, he's like I've been around for millions of years, so that should give you the opportunity to be the smartest person in the world, and yet you let someone who's been alive for thirty-five years uh, outsmart you. Good, good job. I hope fix my mental image. Is this a dude called Planet Man, or is it like a fucking planet that talks? No, he's a man. No, he was... Okay, he, okay so let me explain it for you, Chris. Okay, Millions of years do. ago, I was a braid floating in space. And I was so alone, and so I s somehow became a planet. <laughs> and cool. then I was, just, I was still alone, so I gave myself the, the form of man... Uh, so he's but Jesus. I'm still a planet, but I'm also a form of man through hive-minded technology. <laughs> oh. uh, so, so. This sounds very. And now I'm going to go to every planet and put my my brain seed on all the planets, so I can become all the planets. And when I take when yeah. when I'm all the planets, that I could take over the universe. Be and also, uh, Peter, I fucked your mom, and I miss her every day. <laughs> Steven, I'm going to need you to explain every Marvel movie to me ever now, because that's the only way I want these movies. That should be a series. Instead of drunk history, it's drunk explain a Marvel I will, movie. I'm down for that. Uh, I, I will say, like, I don't, I don't want to spoil it, but um, there's what, what, what makes Peter eventually turn on ego i think is lazy as fuck which what is it again when the thing that finally makes star lord um turn against ego is like the laziest fucking script writing ever yeah but i don't want to say it because it is it's kind of a, a major spoiler for the kind movie of spoiled but... a lot of stuff already but okay i didn't, I didn't like it uh steven what did you think about uh guardians 2 clearly not passing the uh, Bechdel test Oh, I actually, I actually wondered that. Did it not pass? Well, see, the reason why I think is before it came out, James Gunn was like, right, "This movie fucking destroys the Bechdel test." It's like, not really. You have you have three, you have three. There are only three conversations where it's just between two women, and they're all like less than a minute long, and two of them revolve around them talking about Thanos, their father. So it's like, they're kind of still talking about a guy. I mean, yeah, it isn't romantically. They're, they're talking about wanting to kill him. But still fucking talking about a guy. Yeah. I love how he responded to you. That was amazing. I know. He, I love I loved James Gunn on Twitter. Like, I, I, honestly, I think he is a very, he's a very talented um, director. I, I thought visually Guardians 2 was a great looking movie. I, I, like it, I like him as a writer in not so much Guardians 2, but I, I liked his script in Guardians 1, the 
put in was fucking terrible, but I thought it was a pretty decently told story. But uh, he is... If he gets, like, the mildest of criticism, like, he'll just, like, get like, actually, no, you're wrong. You're wrong, because I say so. Like, not, See, not really. I mean, you can say it. Combined with really. combined with the whole, um, that's not Teenage Groot, that's Adolescent Groot, I, I really just <laughs> don't like him. <laughs> See, TJ, when, when, when I put off the Guardians 2, when I was talking about this, you were like, oh, no, nah, he's great. And I was like, I never said yeah, he see? was great. I just thought you were being a little harsh. But now I totally agree with you. Thank you. So, like, how many baby group Funko Pops you got, Steven? <laughs> hey, I have a Funko Pop story that happened over Halloween. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, that here we scary. go. Steven talking about Funko Pops again. <laughs> Funko Pops? Why do you say it like that? <laughs> Sounds like Fun Corporation, Fun Co. I'm so glad you paused there, Chris. Good job. <laughs> That's not an editing, Hyde. Don't worry. <laughs> so go on, uh, Stephen, explain your story about oh. Stylish's favorite object in the world. <laughs> we, he uh, just thinks they're neat. <laughs> God, I hate Funkos. <laughs> Um, so I was, uh, we were going bar hopping the, 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 the weekend before Halloween and I went to a bar and they were doing a costume contest. So I'm like, LOL, I'm going to redo 2014 and just go up in my day clothes. Cause I wasn't wearing a costume. Uh, you remember New York? And then you won third. Place well, here's the, the thing, contest. Chris. Uh, oh no. <laughs> I walked up. And uh, they were like, uh, well, everybody had to go on stage and then say who they were and then walk off stage. And then the guy was going to hand out prizes. I didn't know what the prizes were. I didn't care. I just kind of wanted to go up and troll and then leave. And so <laughs> I walked up and <laughs> the guy looks at me, sees I'm not wearing a costume, and immediately says, hmm, let me guess, a millennial. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, uh that's better than what I was going to say, because I actually had a thing I was going to say that was going to be a joke, but his joke was better than mine. And and everybody laughs, and then he gives me the opportunity to talk. And he goes, okay, so who are you really? And I'm like, oh, um... I'm I'm the why of this character that no one here is gonna know who. I'm no, I was my, my plan was just to just to say I'm the Y chromosome because I'm male and I don't know this is dumb. I just so I went so I was just <laughs> saying I'm I'm the Y chromosome and the guy doesn't laugh. He just gives me this really sad face and hands <laughs> me one of the Funko prizes. <laughs> 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 and he hadn't even started handing the prizes out. He just gave, gave one to me. He's like, please go away. Yeah, just, just to get like, you to go away. <laughs> and so I handed it. I handed it back, and I left. And I'm like, let's 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 go, guys. This is analogous in my mind to like a high school Steven going up to this girl he likes, and the bully just shaming. Pretty him much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's your Funko Pop, nerd. <laughs> the, the bully shames him by beating him with a Funko Pop. <laughs> you like Baby Groot? Who's your fucking Baby Groot? God damn, Jimmy McJim, settle down. <laughs> So, TJ, Steven, what was the Funko Pop? I don't even remember. Something. It was something Halloween-ish. It was like some, I don't know, Night of the Living Dead or something like that. Oh, you mean the Funko Pop of an audio commentary on FindingComputerRoom.com. Hey, hey, Brad Synergy. No, not Night of the Dead. No, uh, 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 The Walking Dead. Whatever the TV show called. I forget what it's called. Oh. Oh, which ties into the FTCR commentary of The Walking Dead Season 6. Ah, hmm, interesting. <laughs> Did a commentary. Yeah, on? good old Nag Nagan, right? That's his. That's, that's his name, N Nagan. Sure. Click like and subscribe. So, it was was it just Ego you hated in uh, in Guardians Two? Ego was so. It was. It's just like fuck you. You're so lame. You've had fourteen billion years to to be so smart, and you just people decided to dig inside you and and put a bomb inside you. You didn't think that ever was gonna happen. It's like fuck. They should have just you ripped got off the a bomb end. in me. <laughs> it sounds like and just had them shout at the dude you who's so smart and just destroy me. him. I mean, so like, or just have Randy Newman sing. And like, <laughs> defeating Ego wasn't like anything clever either. It's like, oh, I've he's a planet. I've been alive for twenty million years, but <laughs> you put a bomb in me. Pretty much, it's like, <laughs> how do we outsmart this really smart planet man? Uh, let's go inside and put a bomb at his core. Uh, like, okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, Marvel, you fucking nerds. <laughs> what other Marvel movies have happened? There's Spider, Spider, <laughs> Spider, 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 <laughs> Spider, um, Spider, Spider. This volume um, one. Uh, uh, Thor three just came out. I haven't had a chance uh, yeah. to see it yet. I'm gonna try and see Let's it. Spoil that one. It's gonna be good. 
again, it's got a lot of good reviews, but then again, so have most Marvel movies, so that may not mean much to Steven. Yeah. Uh, what upset me the most about Guardians of the Galaxy 2 was Dan Harmon liked it, and I'm like, ah, oh, Dan, no. Fuck you. I hate you now. So yeah, you're, I hate... You're finally, starting to, you're finally starting to see why everyone else thinks Dan Harmon's a big prick. Was there some Sichuan sauce in that? <laughs> hey, Chris, did yeah. you ask Dan Harmon before you made that joke and our internet let us play? <laughs> Shit. Hang on, let me tweet him. What's his handle? At the Dan Harmon. <laughs> the Dan Harmon. Okay, Daniel Harmon, not the Dan Harmon, came up. Should I tweet him? No. <laughs> yes. Um. I like how in this point, Nintendo just stole one of the easiest bosses from Kirby 64. <laughs> Where to go with the paintbrush, paint shit that comes to life and it's very easy to defeat. I like how oh, this. I like how this yeah, professional painter ghost draws at the same level as that five year old from Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think I think the fire from Kirby actually does a bit better than he does. I think you're right. Is this ghost Steven? Huh? What? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, there's Jimmy McJim. <laughs> it's a bust of Jimmy McJim, yes! It's a huge collector's item nowadays. Ever since this debut on the internet, let us play. <laughs> So Stephen, has there ever been a, a, a MCU Marvel movie you fl you really enjoyed? Not not just like you liked, but like you really enjoyed it and would happily watch Iron it. Iron Man. Again. Iron Man's great. Iron Man One. Foot, off foot. Yep, first Iron Man. I I still think is the best movie they yeah. made. Well, no. Te I would say technically, with the Soldier is a better movie, but I think Iron Man One is a way more fun movie. Iron than Man got me into watching Marvel movies in the first place, and then you know I was like, "Hey, superheroes can be fun. This is great." And then <laughs> and then they and then they started making a universe. And, and then, then Steven grew up. <laughs> four movies a year. Yeah, four movies a year. We'll get that. I think this year was the first year it was three, so we'll get the four at some point. Well, Sony made Homecoming. True. True, but it, it, it's technically part of the of the MCU, so there were three MCU movies this okay, year. That's, yeah, I yeah. think MCU. I think they said their plan is for three next year too. Yeah, next More year. Like PU. <laughs> Although I don't know, I don't don't know what all is next year because oh, isn't next it just Marvel? Is, is Black Panther? No, it's it's Black Panther. Mm -hmm. um, Avengers. Avengers three, and I think Ant Man. And the wasp is next to Who can well. even keep track anymore? I don't like I like I've, <laughs> I I seriously think I'm starting to get fatigue. I you know I want I want to make it through to the Avengers because that is going to be like the end of, of this. Is know, it this big phase? Oh, please let it end. Apparently, apparently, well, no, apparently they've said like Avengers four, which is coming out I think 2019. <laughs> Will be like they've they've said it's gonna end this story like you know m movies will carry on and I'm sure whoever survives, which no one in this franchise will be everyone because no one dies in this fucking. They're getting movies, old. Will continue, but um, these like, and so I I may just hold out until Avengers four be like and then I can just close put close the lid on the MCU for me. Yeah. Then they'll start the new saga, and Harry Potter will be in it. <laughs> no, like, it's funny. It's funny because Spider Man Homecoming two. Apparently, it's, it's gonna it's gonna literally start like five minutes after Avengers Four ends, and it'll be like Spider Man has to you know react to the new world thanks to Avengers Four. Spider Man so, wakes up is like, what was that? Huh? <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> so Stephen, name name if you can what are five MCU movies you like? So you got Iron Man is one. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, Captain America two. With the soldier, oh, yeah. damn good movie, damn good. My movie. man. Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> this is a joke, the joke <laughs> answer, but Wonder Woman was great. <laughs> <laughs> what, That's what, a solid number three. Wonder Woman is legit better than eight than eighty percent of the MCU, so I will accept that answer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we? So can we just do top three? Because that's about. <laughs> Okay. Is that it? I want to give you the same test I give TJ Steven. Can you give me your top five Marvel MCU villains? No, oh, they're all so bad. And you have to give me the oh, name. Oh, they're all so bad. <laughs> what about Loki? Loki's, a, like, Loki's like the only good bit of the I movie. have not... I'll give you Loki. I That's your free space. I have not seen Thor 1 or 2. Is there okay. a Thor 3? Or is it 2 that came out recently? Yeah, that just happened. Thor 3 just came out. Well, Steven, what about Avengers 1? Because Loki's the villain in the house. I don't remember well. Avengers 1. Oh, fair enough. See, exactly. What, hap what's, what happens in Avengers 1? 
All the um, Avengers. They all make ice cream. All the Avengers get together and, and punch people. Oh, it was the plot to Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually. It's great. Did Captain America ever find the fourth Chaos Emerald? Why is Captain America Shadow? <laughs> <laughs> Who would be Shadow in the MCU? I, I'm just seeing Captain America standing over Iron no, Man. No, he would. He's like crumbling to the ground. He would be Shadow because he was he was sealed for 50 years or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> he's the ultimate life, life form, form right? <laughs> picky, picky Carter. Picky. This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. I promise you. I, ve I will avenge, avenge. you. Uh, okay. That. You know, the, the, that took us 25 minutes, but we contributed <laughs> something worthwhile with this I part. That's, that's actually something I, I want to go up on, on a quick tangent. So uh -oh. D, D, DC's collection of superheroes Gareth just as... goes on a tangent. <laughs> Save so, it for the next parts. So we have something to talk about. There's only 30 seconds left. Bow, okay, bow, um, bow. my, 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 my tangent is... You can't talk because I'm singing <laughs> to old Gareth's gonna get and mad I at me. And I just kicked him from the car. Bow, 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 bow. You oh, hung up on so me. Bow, 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 no, it didn't. Bow. Chris, don't lie. <laughs> it's true. Okay, I will. I will save my my question about. You kicked it from naming. the call for nothing. <laughs> Good. Hey, TJ. Yes. I <laughs> 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 smoked him. Can we end this part early, Chris? <laughs> yeah. So bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Just, just kidding. I'm still talking because now the end cards are up. <laughs> Ha 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 ha